Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's go straight into it here, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors of Mind with the Highest White Light. Give you some messages here for my YouTube collective here. What is it that they need to know right now? What is the overall energy of the Spirit? Please and thank you. What is the overall energy spirit? All right. We got talking. All right. You got somebody that want to come in and they want to talk to you. So you're going to get ready to receive a text message, a call, an email, or something from somebody here. Okay. And this could be coming from somebody that you have been waiting to hear from. All right. You could have been wondering when this person was going to come in and reach out or you know maybe if he was going to reconcile with somebody and it's definitely showing where you're going to hear from this person sooner than later so it could be coming up like very very soon here okay on this picture right here you look like they just hanging out and chilling maybe you know talking and whatever i feel like maybe when you all first like communicate because you see he's sitting right there on the floor she on the couch i don't feel like it's gonna jump right into like anything like sexual y'all like i think that y'all really gonna be getting to know each other again or um like you know expressing y'all selves having like heart-to-heart -heart conversations and things like that here okay this could be could have been somebody that love bombed you in the past you know, this relationship was one-sided because maybe you wanted a commitment. This person maybe not wanted a commitment. They could have came in and love bombed you. Like, y'all could have had very passionate moments. Okay, yeah, whatever it is that they were giving you, it was not enough. All right, this person could have lacked confidence. All right, they could have had a big ego. They could have had a lot of pride and ego. All right, and they sabotaged this connection here. But it just wasn't enough with what they were giving you. So they definitely could have been breadcrumbing you. And it was very one-sided. Like you was putting in a whole lot of effort, but they wasn't. What a spirit. Anything else? wedding rings all right so when this person come back in and you all have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation this person is going to be thinking about putting a ring on it here okay and then on the top of this card over here and wow look i can't make it up look you got the butterfly and you got the dragonfly here okay so this person is evolving here all right this person has healed their inner child or they are currently healing their um inner child here all right, this person is releasing the past. Anything that could have affected them in the past on why they could have been a narcissist or had narcissistic tendencies, like they're releasing it and, the, and they're healing it. So they could have had to forgive people that wasn't sorry. They could have had to forgive people definitely that just lied, betrayed them, and hurt them, whether it was lovers, family, friends, coworkers, associates, strangers, whatever. They had, you know, they, uh, they released that here. All right, and then you got the dragonfly, lighthearted and adapt, finding out and change things coming to the light. So whatever this person needed to see clearly, he has seen that, okay? And this time that you all have been apart, I feel like this person has gotten truth and clarity on people, on certain things and situations here, okay? And now that things have came to the light, it's like now... This person, you know, 
kept properly healed or has, you know, properly healed here. Okay, they found out the truth. They, they see things clearly and now they're changing, even with themselves, because this person, I definitely feel like had to do some type of introspection. And this person had to, um, some of them, they could have reached out for outside help. Like some of them, they felt like they couldn't do it on their own. And some of them had to literally um, go seek like some type of counselor or uh a therapist or something to help them here okay because some of y'all was dealing with a full-blown narcissist y'all okay and you were an empath and it's like <laughs> y'all were like i can change him my life i can change him <laughs> okay and it's like not you know i feel like you were the catalyst to this person's healing i do feel like you were meant to be in this person's life to awaken them you know what i'm saying because this is your divine counterpart so you all did meet for a reason and 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 everything but baby god had to step in on this person okay you see it you was dealing with a full-fledged narcissistic person here okay and because you love this person so much you could have ignored the fact that you was dealing with a narcissist like you could have seen the signs but you ignored it you like, you know what? I love him anyway. It don't matter. God, like, no. Like, I, you not finna accept the bare minimum. And I'm not finna continue on letting this person treat you like that. And you're not, uh, I need you to realize your worth. I need you to love yourself a little bit more to not accept anything or the bare minimum and breadcrumbs. Even if this is your divine counterpart. So you all could have had to learn boundaries. You all could have had to love yourself a little more. You know what I'm saying? So you won't except just know anything you know when you fully love yourself you're not going to let nobody come in and gaslight you love bomb you um you're not going to overgive, and you're not getting anything back you know you're going to want that equal give and take here you're going to want things reciprocated like the love you give you want that back and you deserve love so you god was like no baby you know i know that you could be you know you could have been on this path or this, this spiritual journey a little bit longer, okay? But you still got some healing to do because I really feel like y'all let this person slide. You hear me? Countless of times. And God was like, no, like, uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? So this person had to heal, but you all had to heal as well, y'all. But now you got this nar ex-narcissist, okay? <laughs> and y'all, let me just tell you something. A narcissistic disorder is just like any other disorder, right? That's just like anxiety and depression. That's just like if you have anxiety, right? You know how they say people, anybody can have anxiety? Okay, some people's diagnosed and some is not, right? Okay, well, what's the, when, when you go get treated, all y'all in there together. They don't separate people with anxiety over here. They don't separate people with depression over here. They don't separate people over here uh with uh bipolar schizophrenia or whatever they don't do that all y'all be together they don't put one above the other you see what i'm saying all of them can be treated okay and i feel like all of them can be healed as well so before y'all say i don't want him back he was a full-blown narcissist okay well, if you don't want him back, you don't have to take him back because we, we do all have free will. But a narcissist can change. They can get help, okay? They, they, they can, you know, grow and evolve. Who said that they can't? That's just like a person that has anxiety and depression and, and a person judging you based off of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they crazy or they might do this or they might do that or whatever. I don't know, y'all. You, you know, you just got to be very careful with judging people and stuff and know that anybody can change if they want to change and this person do want to change here okay and i do feel like this person has did the work on themselves here because like i said this person has been healing healing inner child and releasing the past evolving and growth this person has been evolving this person has been growing and it's like now they're ready for this next phase here okay now, wedding rings, like I said, this person is, like, thinking about marriage with you, all right? I don't feel like this person, whoever this reading is for, I don't feel like this person has been married before, okay? And if a small select of y'all person 
was married. I don't feel like it was a good marriage, okay? I feel like it it was one-sided, okay? And it, and it could have been that they were dealing with a narcissist in a relationship. Okay, <laughs> for some of y'all, that's how it was. Like a narcissist could have been with another narcissist if, if you know that your person was married. That's how it was. But for the most of you all, I don't feel like this person has ever been married before. Okay, I feel like this person just dated around constantly, in and out of relationships, and you might be the only person that has been able to deal with this person for so long. I don't feel like nobody else had the patience to deal with this person for a long period of time because they were a narcissist. You know what I'm saying? And it was always one-sided. I don't feel like anybody had the patience or... So it's like you were meant to come into this person's life, like I said, to help them grow. And I feel like only you would, would have been able to get to this person, okay? But yeah, y'all, this person want marriage with you. So I definitely feel like... When this person come back in, they could definitely tell you that, you know, they want to spend the rest of their life with you. Okay, they want to be devoted to you. They want to be committed to you. They don't want to ever be away from you anymore. Yeah, this person is, they're, they're going to take full accountability for their actions here. Okay. Let's see anything else from this deck here, spirit. Look, a love call. Yeah, y'all getting ready to get a call from this person. The first card out was awaiting messages, talking, text, calls, email, talking more. You all are finna get ready to talk more, okay? It's not gonna be where you talk to this person for a day and then you don't hear from this person for like another week or something like that. Like you're gonna be consistently talking to this person. And then love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, okay, informing you. So when you get this call, this person will be like, boo, like, I love you, I miss you, I'm so sorry, this and that, you know, I'm not going to be the same, and, you know, I just want you to trust me and believe me. Will you give me a chance to do this and this and that? Can I come see you where you at? Some of y'all might have might been unmoved by the time this person come back in, or you might not be in the same place. Y'all might not have the same number. And this person, that's why it got email. Because for some of y'all, this person going to have to reach out to you through email. Because y'all might not have the same number. Okay? Or uh, any of that. All right? And so, any way they can try to reach out to you, they're going to try to reach out to you. Because I definitely feel like y'all not going to have the same number. Or be living in the same place or something like that by the time this person come back in here. Okay? Um, but they're, they are going to be expressing their love to you. Telling you how they feel, what they want, you know, how serious they are this time, how it's not going to be one-sided. You know, they're going to give you that equal give and take here, you know. And they're, and they're, they want to be there for the long haul. They don't want to be in it, you know, temporarily or whatever. Let's see. Let's get some messages from this deck here. All right, Spirit, give me some messages from this person out of this deck here. What is it that they want to say? How are they currently feeling? thought that you all were too different okay it says that's why we disagree and feel distance from each other and it wasn't that you all were just too different it was just that this person i feel like grew up around a, a, a whole bunch of narcissistic people okay hold on y'all it feel like my lip gloss is I don't know, it felt like my lip gloss was causing my lips to do something. I don't know. But yeah, y'all, um, 
It was just because this person, I feel like, was uh, around a whole bunch of narcissists. And I feel like this person's family or something maybe could have been like that. A father, a mother, or their family, period. Okay? Which is why I said they had to heal their childhood wounds. Because I feel like how they were is how they family were. Okay? <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, this person right here. They just wanted two different things. You wanted the commitment, and this person wanted to roam free. Okay, they didn't want to have their heart attached to anybody here because they didn't want to get hurt. And this person could have had abandonment issues and codependencies and things like that here. And he also had to heal that. This person wanted to be in control. This was a person that had to be in control because they felt like, if I'm in control, I won't get hurt, okay? And this is why they did what they did here. This person could have tried to control you, control the situation here, okay? And God just was not having that. You know what I'm saying? This person is missing you. They miss cuddling with you. They miss the intimacy between y'all here, all right? This person don't even, I'm talking about, of course they want to have that, you know, sexual encounter with you, but it's not all about that. This person just would love to just hold you in their arms here. Okay. Watch you sleep. Okay. <laughs> Maybe rub their, you know, their hands through your hair, you know, or, you know, feel your skin. I feel like you could have very soft skin. They want to feel your skin. My world is falling apart right now, and I don't know how to fix it. And it's not right for me to dump that on you. Yeah, this person could still be going through some lessons, y'all, and healing. For some of y'all, this person has healed, and you're getting ready to hear from this person. And others of you all, this person is still healing. They're still going through a, a spiritual lesson here, okay? And their world is falling apart, but while they're going through this lesson here, they're constantly thinking about you. As soon as they wake up, they're thinking about you. Before they go to bed, they're thinking about you here. Okay. And they feel like it's not fair. They already have put you through enough. And they feel like it's not fair to dump everything that they're going through on you. Because they feel like they actually have hurt you enough. And they don't want to put their burdens on you. Even though I don't feel like you all would have mine. But no, they don't want to do that. I keep getting signs that remind me of you, and I can't ignore them anymore, and I need to reach out to you. I told you, this person not going to be able to hold back from you too much longer. But I feel like this person has to complete this spiritual lesson first before he can even come back towards you, no matter how much he want to come back towards you. I don't feel like God, your angels, your ancestors is not going to let this person come back in until he has learned the lesson here, and he has actually did that work on himself and has fully changed here but he wants to reach out to you so bad okay and it's like he's constantly getting reminders of you like he could be seeing your name hearing your name okay and like he can't ignore the signs no more it says hey i long for you day and night i'm consumed by my desire for you our chemistry is amazing y'all got a whole lot of chemistry here Okay, <laughs> and like I said, this person, I'm talking about, you live in this person's head rent-free. It's like this person got a fire, like the fire just burning for you. I don't feel like it's ever going to go out collective. Like, it's just so much chemistry between you and this person. It's like magnetic. I don't know, y'all. It's like, woo. Okay, <laughs> and I don't feel like this person got this feeling from anybody else here. And I, okay, you know, I feel like this person has dated around and stuff like that but it's like it ain't nobody like you though you know i don't feel like this person vibes from anybody like that i don't feel like this person has met anybody that has the patience that you have to deal with them here <laughs> like nobody all right and yeah this person look at you as somebody like an angel okay and very loving it's like you give this person the best love. They've never experienced love um, until really they met you. Like you was the first person to show them unconditional love. 
and everybody else just only showed this person love under conditions like what they can give what they can do and things like that y'all okay but this person long long for you okay day and night whoa yeah this person sh stresses about this relationship here okay they wondering if if this relationship will work out or not but i feel like it's because of how they were in the beginning because like i said this person was a narcissist they did love bomb you and then i feel like they ghosted you too so after you had the patience to deal with them after you have you know after you was there like loving this person like trying to work with this person even though i feel like it was one-sided like they just up and left and you like wait like i literally been putting up with your stuff you know what i'm saying i've been right here and then you just ghost me or abandon me or whatever so this person is confused a little bit you know and he's thinking i feel like he's overthinking he's like i know i did this woman wrong and i know i hurt this woman for how i acted and he's he's very regretful for that like he hate the fact that he treated you like that because you were the only one that really gave this person real true love unconditional love here so that's why he he lay awake at night here okay stressing about you wondering if it's gonna work out wondering if you're gonna take him back or not here all right let's just see let's get a little tarot here This person loves you so much. And he could he could even he could even be crying, y'all. Okay, this person could be crying or this person could be like very emotional, okay, when when it when he thinks about you because he know that um he didn't do you right. Yeah, he could be watching you. Okay. And he also could be reading your comments, okay? He can be trying to see if you dating anybody all right i feel like this man knows your true character so he knows that you're not just gonna be out here giving that thing away or he knows that you don't have people in your energy like that but a part of him is wondering like you know has somebody caught your eye like has somebody came in you know to try to pursue you so he could be going through your comments okay to try to see if you know he can figure out who you talking to or something like that but i feel like y'all are very definitely look he's definitely watching <laughs> this man is definitely watching you trying to figure something out maybe he trying to you know yeah maybe he 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 looking to see if you talking to somebody because he know he want to come in and he don't he don't want to feel rejected and you don't move on and you're dating somebody <laughs> he definitely don't want to be rejected yeah look y'all the death he done went through a spiritual transformation here all right and he want to come in here all right and give you the commitment that he know that you deserve you always deserved here all right yeah he want a family look ace of cups he want a new beginning he want to he want a new a chance to create this family with you here okay and he i feel like this 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 man don't want to be with no, i'm talking about even though this man has changed even though he went through a spiritual transformation i feel like he probably would, you know, maybe have a girlfriend or date or something. But I feel like when it comes to you, you're the only person that I feel like he look at as his wife. Like settling down, having kids and things like that because he know he can trust you with his heart. He know that you're loyal. He know that you ain't going to cheat. He know that you're going to be a rider like you there through thick and thin. You was there with him when he was a full-blown narcissist. You know what I'm saying? And he walked away. You still didn't walk away. You know what I'm saying? So he knows your character he knows how loyal you are all right and i don't feel like he would like want this with anybody else but you okay 
Yeah, this person look at you as very independent, very self-sufficient. That's another thing. All right. You all could be a boss. You could be a leader or you can have like a leader role at your workplace or something. Okay. But you're doing very well in your career. All right. And this person, that's another reason why I feel like this person wants to create a family with you because you're a great partner to um, build with. You know, they won't have to do every single thing. Like I said, this person was used to dealing with people that love them under conditions, that only love them because of what that they could do. And when it comes to you, it's like, it wasn't like that. Like, you love this person because you really seen something in this person. And it had nothing to do with their money or what what uh, they could give you or anything. Because you're single and self-sufficient. And this person is king of pentacles. So, he could definitely have his own business or something. Or he could have a very, very, very good job that brings in a lot of money and stability. And these people gravitate towards him and take, 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 take care. Okay? Yeah, this person could have been in a lustful energy in the past, y'all, okay? But he did experience some type of losses here. He did have to go into hermit. God had to sit him down here, okay? And he had to do some type of introspection. And I feel like God shown him, like, look, this is, this is how you did this earth angel. This is how you did your true divine counterpart. And you can't do that. He got some clarity on some things when it comes to you, too, okay? And that is what made him, I feel like, want to change. It's like, wow, like this woman is a whole nurturer. She ain't do nothing but love me. And you know what, y'all? Maybe at the time, all you had was love to give this person. Maybe you all was not always in this Nine of Pentacles energy where your money was good. Maybe your business was doing very well or you had a very good job that offered you this stability or something. Maybe it was after this person left and you start focusing on yourself more. And, and the energy that you was putting into this person, you start putting it into yourself. And you came into this Nine of Pentacles energy. And so this person is seeing, like, not only are you nurturing, not only can you give the best love, but you're a whole boss. You're a whole leader. Like, you, you get things done on your own. And you did it without him, without his money or anything. You know what I'm saying? So he has gotten the truth and clarity about you here. All right. So he's looking at you as a great, um, a great partner to create this family with. Like I said here, y'all. And that's what he wants. And he finna get ready to call and reach out to you. And so, like I said, for some of y'all, for like a small select few of y'all, okay. This person is gonna be reaching out soon because they already went through a transformation. Others of you all, this person is still healing. He's healing. Note that he's progressing. He's doing the work on himself, and he will reach out to you here. Okay? Let's see. Can I get a... Um... Let's see if it'll give me a time. Sometimes spirit will give me a direct time, and sometimes they don't. But let's just see. Spirit, can you give me around a time frame of when this person is going to come in towards the collective? Or whoever reading this is for around the time, around, around about the time. When is this person going to come in? I don't know. I totally screwed up that, didn't it? Around the time, when is this person going to come in towards the collective for whoever reading this is for? All right. You got next month. So for whoever this reading is for. Be expecting a text, a call, an email, or something from this person next month. And your person, they're going to come in a, a changed man. I'm telling you. They're not going to be the same here. Okay. But that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. All right. Um, thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. And thank you for supporting my other channel, Unseen Secrets. For my new subscribers, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're called to subscribe to my other channel, y'all, 
I, I think I posted it on my community page. And you can go to my community page, y'all, okay, and click on it and whatever. Because sometimes when you type it in, it don't come up. So I put it on my community page. But bye, y'all. I love y'all. God love you. And I do too.